like us, you probably got in your medicine home to realize it won't burn, won't stay lit, doesn't gray up. Well, we hope you find your cure in the following video. Is your medical bud properly flushed? We call this the ash test. Many people understand marijuana and what it is, but often overlook some of the most important factors when it comes to inhaling or ingesting it into their bodies. The quality of marijuana strains are generally quite good these days, so it now boils down to other factors like growing and flushing techniques. These techniques can be absolutely essential if you wish to ingest or smoke clean marijuana. There's an easy way to find out if the marijuana you are using is clean or flushed properly. The marijuana you should be smoking burns with a nice uniform gray ash. The joint usually burns without a problem right to the end. When the marijuana is flushed properly, it allows you to get maximum taste and effect from your medical bud. When the bud is flushed incorrectly, the marijuana usually burns black ash. The joint or bowl will sometimes be difficult to keep burning. It can have a harsh taste and sometimes trigger some serious coughing. This is not pleasant and can lead to a bit of a throat irritation. Not only are you smoking marijuana, you are smoking latent nutrient buildup. So what is flushing exactly? The plant must use the remaining nutrients from its leaves or older growth areas. The trick is to starve the plants of nitrogen and other foods in the last stages of its life. This is done by feeding them straight water the last week or two. All of the remaining food is transferred from below up to the buds until there is little or no nutrition from the plant to feed off. Basically, the autumn or fall season is to be replicated, and with the ripening of buds comes the yellowing of leaves when done properly. If nutrients are left in the medium and therefore in the plant at the time of harvest, you will have product that will have an unpleasant smell and taste. In soil or soilless mixtures, it is mandatory to flush water through the medium till it drains out the holes in the bottom of the pot or tray. This is usually done with a watering wand or can. It is optimal to run water through a few times during the last 10 days to 3 weeks of the flowering period. Most let their medium dry out between flushing. With new soilless mixtures, you do not need to let the medium get too dry as soilless mixtures have excellent aeration for root systems. It is a good idea to water very slowly at first when the soil is dry because it is usually a little hydrophobic. If you blast it with water, it will create mini rivers, leaving part of your medium dry if you're not careful. The trick is to get all the nutrients out. With hydroponic systems, it is a little different. Hydroponic growers usually flush around once a week throughout the entire process for a 24-hour period or so. This involves draining your reservoir of nutrient solution and placing fresh water in it to have the pump circulate it for 24 hours. Also, during this time, each plant is rinsed individually to flush out the salt buildup. For the final flushing stage, the res is filled with fresh water and that is circulated for 10 days or even up to 3 weeks, depending on finishing time for the flowering plant. If these processes are done correctly, once the product is dried and cured properly, the bud you smoke should burn with a nice gray uniform ash. Also, pesticides that are used can be very difficult to flush. That is why many people only do this in the beginning or vegetative stage. There are many natural pest control solutions such as ladybugs and persimilis. These predatory mites are often a preferred method of unwanted insect control as opposed to chemical products. Many times that you do smoke bud with black ash, it is because of one of these pesticides or insecticides. When we talk about flushing with clean water, we mean water with very little dissolved solids within it. To check the amount of total dissolved solids, we check the electric conductivity, or EC, with a parts per million meter, or PPM for short. A PPM reading of 50 or less indicates your water is fairly clean. If your reading is too high, sometimes a reverse osmosis system is used to bring the PPM back to zero. It's not just the look or smell of the bud that suggests it is a quality product. There is a little more to it, so the next time you receive your medical marijuana in the mail, you can give it the good old-fashioned gray ash, black ash test. Well, there you have it. Follow the rules in the previous video to the T and you shouldn't have any more problems. If you get your weed from a distributor or a dispensary, Please bring it to their attention. They may not be aware of it. And 
Until next time, I'm William Martin with Cannabis Science.